Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Ayyuh ala habba. As we mentioned on countless occasions, the intention, our niya, the place of our intention is in the heart. And that when we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should worship Him with the correct intention, with the intention to worship Him and Him alone. Ikhlas lillah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us in the Quran to worship Him and Him alone and to be sincere. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, That they weren't commanded except with worshiping Allah and for Him is the religion. Worshipping Allah with ikhlas, with sincerity. Mukhlisin lahuddin. The religion is for Allah. Sincerity. Directing one's heart to his Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also what evidence is that for us is the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu which we're all aware of, bi'idnillah. The hadith on Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, Amir al-Mu'mineen, Abi Hafs, Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, قال, سمعتو رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول إنما عمال بالنيات Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu ta'ala anhu said that I heard the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم say Verily actions are tied to the intentions showing us that we have to have sincere intentions because our actions, they will be judged by our intentions. So if we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity, we will receive the ajr for that, the reward for that. If we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mixed with other things, we'll, be, we'll have that worship negated. And depending on what type, if it's the major shirk or minor shirk, if you're doing it strictly for the other people, strictly for something of the dunya, perhaps that can be the major shirk and take you out of the fold of Islam. A'udhu billah. And if it is the minor shirk, just showing off a riyah, then this negates that action. Wa'iyadhin billah. May Allah accept all of our deeds as good deeds and forgive all of our sins and protect us from riya of showing off and may Allah bless us with ikhlas with thabat ala sunnah and nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and aside from that benefit also from the wonders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I don't know how this rock this very heavy rock a very Interesting and fascinating rock, actually. How it got on top of this tree stump. That is amazing in and of itself. And that is from the wonders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because regardless, if man, obviously man probably has put this up here, that maybe the, the ones making this, this path, the, 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 the dirt path of this logging road, that they placed it up here with a machine. But still, all of that was created by Allah. All of that is created by the one we should direct all of our worship to. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with awm nafiya, wa rizqan tayyibin, wa amalan muttaqabbilan, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.